when you look at all the past technological transitions, whether it be you know railroads or the internet or in, you know replaceable parts, industrialization, uh, the cloud, all of these things, each revolution has gotten much faster in the time it goes from technology discover to ramp yep. and pervasiveness through the economy. Many folks who have been on Dwarkesh's podcast believe this is sort of the final uh, technological revolution or transition, and that this time is very, very different. Um, and at least so far in the markets, it's sort of, you know, in three years, we've already skyrocketed to, you know, hyperscalers are doing $500 billion of CapEx next year, which is a scale that's un unmatched to prior revolutions in terms of speed. And the end state seems to be quite different. How, how do you, your, your framing of this seems quite different than sort of the, I would say the AI bro, who is, <laughs> who is quite, um, you know, AGI is coming and, you know, I, I'd like to understand that more. I mean, look, I, I start with the excitement that I also feel for maybe after the industrial revolution, this is the biggest thing. Um, and so therefore I, 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 I start with that premise. Uh, but at the same time, I'm a little grounded in the fact that uh, this is still early innings. Uh, we've built some very useful things. We're seeing some great properties. These scaling laws seem to be working. Um, and I'm optimistic that they'll continue to work, right? Some of it is, um, you know, it does require real science breakthroughs, but it's also a lot of engineering and what have you. But that said, I also sort of take the view that, you know, even what has been happening in the last 70 years of computing uh, has also been a march uh, that has helped us move, um, you know, with, the, as I said, you know, I, I, I like one of the things that Raj Reddy uh, has as a metaphor for what AI is, right? He's a, he's a Turing Award winner out of uh, CMU. Um, and he's always, and he had this even pre-AGI, uh, but he had this metaphor of uh, AI should either be a guardian angel or a cognitive amplifier. I love that. Uh, it's a simple way to think about what this is. Ultimately, what is its human utility? It is going to be a cognitive amplifier uh, and a guardian angel. And so if I sort of view it that way, I view it as a tool. But then you can also go very mystical about it and say, wow, this is you know, more than a tool. It does all these things which only humans did so far. But that has been the case with many technologies in the past. Only humans did a lot of things and then we had tools that did them. Mm. I guess uh, we don't have to get wrapped up in the definition here, but maybe one way to think about it is like maybe it takes five years, 10 years, 20 years. At some point, eventually a machine is producing Satya tokens, right? And the Microsoft board thinks that Satya tokens are worth a lot. <laughs> how, much, how much are you wasting of, this, uh, of, of like economic value by interviewing Satya? Yeah, I could not afford the API costs of Satya tokens. Um, but so, you know, whatever you want to call it, is that are the Satya tokens a tool or an agent, whatever? Um, right now, if you have models that cost on the order of dollars or cents per million tokens, there's just an enormous room for expansion, uh, a margin expansion there where Satya to a million tokens of Satya are like worth a lot. Um, and where does that margin go? And what level of that margin is Microsoft involved in is a question I have. So I think um, in, in some sense, this goes back again to essentially what's the uh, economic growth picture going to really look like? Um, what's the firm going to look like? What's productivity going to look yeah. like? And that to me is where, again, if the industrial revolution created after whatever, 70 years of diffusion is when you started seeing the economic growth, right? It took, that's the other thing to remember, is um, even if the tech is diffusing fast uh, this time around, for true economic growth to appear, it has to sort of diffuse to a point where the work, the work artifact and the workflow has to change. And so that's kind of one place where I think uh, the change management required for a corporation to truly change, I think, is something we shouldn't discount. So I think going forward, do humans and the tokens they produce uh, get higher leverage, right? Uh, whether it's the Dwarkesh or the Dylan tokens of the future. I mean, think about the amount of technology. Would you be able to run semi-analysis or this podcast without technology? No chance, yeah. right? I mean, the scale that you have been able to achieve, no chance. So the question is, what's that scale? Is it going to be 10x with something that comes through? Uh, absolutely. Uh, and therefore, with their, your ramp to some revenue number or your ramp to some audience number or what have you. And so that, I think, is what's going to happen. Yeah. Right? I mean, the, the point is, 
uh, that's whatever, what took 70 years, maybe 150 years for the Industrial Revolution may happen in 20 years, 25 years. That's a better way to, like I would love to compress what happened in 200 years of the Industrial Revolution into 20 year period, if you're lucky. If you enjoyed this clip, you can watch the full episode here and subscribe for more clips. Thanks.